So welcome back. So from our previous clips, or clip, rather, I've described to us the snail, the bacteria snail preparation. So I haven't done that. Now I want to take us to, into how they are going to stain the bacteria snail using gram stain technique. Gram stain is a technique that has been invented by Dutch scientists. And the gram staining we are talking about here, the University of Wiggles, there's the same gram staining they talk about in many other universities in the world part of the world. So you fix your skin by passing it through the slime, the passing the flame about three times. So that the smear will be fixed on and adhere quickly to the slime. So that in the course of you washing and staining the smear, the smear will not be lift, will not be lifted out of the slime or will not be washed off. So Ditto you pass through, pass this through the flame about three times to it fix. It's called its fissure, it's fixed. So you place it on the single, the um, staining raft. Make sure you put off this busting burner. Safety is of importance in the laboratory. Put it off. So I haven't done that. The stains we are going to encounter in gram, in gram stain technique is a primary stain, which is the crystal violet that has been dispensed here. We have Lugos Einding, which is a modern. We have um, a decolorizer, which is an acetone, and it is an alcohol acetone. Then we have a counter stain, which is a secondary stain. Can either be neutral red or saffrony or 10% diluted cover fossil. So we start with the primary stain. In the primary stain, you flock the whole circumference of the snail you have made on the first line. You know, I mentioned to those the first line I, from the culture plates is a gram negative, sorry, gram positive bacteria. So then you flock the second slide as well, that is being prepared from the um, gram negative bacteria culture plates. You flood the old circumference of the snail you have made. Flood the old circumference. And allow the stain to remain on the slide for 30 seconds. To remain on the slide for 30 seconds. Continue. So you apply your crystal violet stain to the snail. I like to see from 30 to 60 seconds. Then pop off the, the pour off this of crystal violet and you wash under rolling tar water. You wash under rolling tar water. Wash under rolling tar water. This is back. Wash the second slide. Under rolling tar water. Under rolling tar water. Having done this, you go back to the stain. The next thing you are going to do is a modat, which is blue gold iodine. Lugos iodine is like a bridge trying to connect one face to the other. One face of the road to the other. You flood with Lugos iodine, flood with Lugos iodine, let it cover the old, surf, the old surface of the sacrifice you have made during your smear preparation. Having done that, make sure you provide your Lugos iodine because some of us are too playful, and because if you open it, don't close it, somebody can come around and point off. So you allow this stain to, to, to be on, on this for about 30 to 60 seconds as well. Time you flood again under running tap water, flood again under running tap water. Then you apply your decolorizer, which is our acetone. In doing this, you need to decolorize briefly. You need to decolorize briefly so that the smear does not wash off. See what I'm going to do now. Just have a few drops on it. Decolorize briefly. Then you quickly rinse again under running tap water. 
Then the last stain is the counter stain, which is the neutral red. You flood with neutral red, allow it to cover the whole circumference of the smear which you have made, allow it to cover the whole circumference which you have made, and you allow this counter stain to stay, you flood the whole circumference, you allow it to stay for about one to two minutes. So when it stayed on the slide for one to two minutes, so at the end of the timing, you still flood again, you flood the slide with under the running tap water, then you blow, you blow the back of the slide and allow it to stand on the slide rack so that it can head dry completely. So when it enters head dry completely, you take the slide to the, um, to the microscope to view by applying immersion oil on the slide. Now, what you are going to see under the microscope, if you are able to see um, the bacteria picking up the primary stain, which is the crystal violet stain, that tells you that the bacteria in question is a gram-positive bacteria. But peraventually, it is the, 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 the counter stain, the bacteria peaks, which is the um, either neutral red you have used or 10% diluted carbophosin or safranine. If the bacteria picks this counter stain, that tells you it is a gram negative bacteria. Thank you very much for listening. We'll meet in the next session. Thank you.